Hi students, in this video you will be learning about work and energy, grade 9 physics. In this chapter you will be learning about work, energy, power, different forms of energy and electrical power also. Now you will be learning the definitions and formulas from this chapter. Let us see the first one. We have work done. Work is said to be done when the object moves on the application of force. That means when we apply some force on any object, the object will move. Then we can say that work is done. Therefore, the formula of work is force into displacement. Sometimes in the problems, force will not be given, but mass and acceleration will be given. In that case, in place of this force, we have to write MA. That means work done is equal to MA into displacement. Unit of work is Newton meter or joule energy capacity of doing work is called as energy every person is having different capacity of doing work machines have different capacity of doing work two bikes they have different capacity of doing work so capacity of doing work is called as energy work and energy are same so whatever the work we do that work can be converted into energy or stored in the form of energy and because of energy work can be done that means energy is equal to work done or work done is equal to energy the unit of work and energy are same that is joule now we have different forms of energy potential energy and kinetic energy potential energy and kinetic energy whenever an object is a certain height from the ground that object will be having potential energy for example water stored in the tank that means the water is at a certain height from the ground that means it is having potential energy example the pen the pen is certain height from the ground any object which is at certain height from the ground that will be having potential energy so potential energy formula mass into g into height in short we can write mgh m is mass of the object g is acceleration due to gravity h is height reached by that object the value of g you have to take 9.8 meters per second square or sometimes you can take 10 as it will be mentioned in the question then kinetic energy any object which is in motion any object which is in motion process kinetic energy therefore kinetic energy formula is half into mass into velocity square we can write kinetic energy is equal to half m v square let us see the next part law of conservation of energy according to this law energy neither be created nor be destroyed but it changes its form that means in the nature the total energy is constant it only changes its form from one to another for example petrol petrol is having chemical energy so when we use petrol in vehicles that chemical energy will be converted into mechanical energy as well as heat energy light energy sun energy that is energy is converting from one form to another form thus law of conservation of energy state that energy neither be created nor be destroyed it only changes its form now let us understand law of conservation of energy with the help of an example law of conservation of energy in case of freely falling object when the object is freely falling example stone so how the energy is changing from one form to the another form let us consider initially the object is at point A that is at height H. So at point A the object will be having only potential energy as it is not moving. So here it will be having only potential energy and kinetic energy of the object will be zero. So it is having potential energy, kinetic energy is zero that is total energy. That means at point A the total energy of the object is potential energy now consider the object is moving downward as it is moving the object will be having kinetic energy also but potential energy will be decreasing as height is decreasing potential energy will be decreasing but it will be having kinetic energy that means at point b the object will be having potential energy as well as kinetic energy but total energy of the object will remain same here potential energy will be decreasing kinetic energy will be increasing potential energy is decreasing because height is decreasing kinetic energy is increasing because velocity is increasing but 
total energy will remain constant. That means total energy at A and total energy at B will be constant. Now, further the object is moving downward. Finally, it is reaching the ground at point C. At point C, the object height is zero. That means here the potential energy will be zero. It will be having maximum kinetic energy as the velocity is maximum. That means total energy is equal to kinetic energy of the object. At point A, at point B, at point C, potential energy, kinetic energy, if we check at every point, it will be varying, but the total energy will remain same. At point A, it will be having maximum potential energy. At point C, it will be having maximum kinetic energy. That means total energy will be remaining constant. So at point A, it is having only potential energy. At point C, it is having only kinetic energy. That means potential energy is converted to kinetic energy. Now let us say next topic, power. Power is nothing but rate of doing work. How much amount of work is done in given time is called as power. If you consider two water pump, the two water pump may be having different powers. That means they are doing different amount of work in given time. So like this, any object will be having its own power. So how much work it will do in the given time that we refer as power. Therefore, power is defined as rate of doing work. The formula of power is work by time. The units of power is joules per second or watt. As we know, the formula of power is work by time. Work formula is Fs. That means in the problem, if force and displacement are given, then we have to use the formula of power as Fs by T. Sometimes we have to find the power when potential energy or mass height will be given. So in this case, the formula of power is mgh by t sometimes mass and velocity will be given and you have to find the problem in this case the formula of power is mv square by t where t is time you have to remember that 1 kw is equal to 1000 joules per second when we are using power in large quantity so we use units of power kilowatts in place of watts so kilo means 1000, so 1 kilowatt is nothing but 1000 joules per second. So next we have commercial unit of energy that we measure in terms of kilowatt or especially the electrical energy what is consumed in our homes, schools, offices. All those will be used in terms of kilowatt or so 1 kilowatt or equal to 3.6 into 10 power of 6 joules. The last one is energy. If you are calculating energy, for electricity consumption, we can use this formula energy is equal to power into time. So, time always you have to convert in seconds.